be seated. I let my illustrious secretary and my wife talk me into this. <laughs> and I'm breathing on 90 years old, and I'm too old for these type of songs. But their argument was that uh, it'll be a lot of young people there, and yeah, it is. But that doesn't give that doesn't give me breath to breathe. <laughs> and uh, so um, I may have to stop halfway. I, I told Gabriel I'm gonna let Tommy Bates do these songs. <laughs> first time I heard this song, Francis and I had gone out to my cousin's home, Jerry Lee Lewis, and uh, he told me he just bought a brand new, um, what do you call these things? They all know, they just won't tell me. Stereo? <laughs> a, a stereo. Something like that. And uh, he had gotten it from an A.A. A. Allen crusade, about 10,000 people that night singing it, and I meant it moved. Where in the world he got it, I don't know. I have no idea. But he brought it out to me. I'm going to start the first one ad lib. It's glory, glory. Hallelujah. Since I live, my burden's down. It's glory, glory. Hallelujah. Since I live. My burden, burden's down.
just like shouting Last year I was in Memphis and I uh, walked down the street from my hotel to Sun Studios where rock and roll was birthed many years ago where my cousin, our cousin Jerry Lee Lewis, Elvis, many of the stunt, the founders of rock and roll were and I was walked in to take the tour and they recognized me. They said, you can go free. <laughs> That's cool. But anyway, we were walking through, and they were talking about all the artists and songs recorded in Sun Studios, and they said, you know, as far as we can tell, the first rock and roll song was a song called Rocket 88. Well, I think the Rocket 88 showed up this morning. <laughs> There's a little rocket fuel left. Open your Bibles this morning, too. 